Hello guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to apply thermal paste the correct way. Now a lot of people get this wrong and it's kind of stupidity really, but yeah, in today's video I'm going to show you how to apply thermal paste to a processor the correct way. It's nice and simple. Anyway, here's some b-roll for you guys to look at. This is me installing some new thermal paste, so I was actually installing my Hyper 212 Evo. Um, it's a very large kind of uh, cooler. Uh, but yeah, this is how you apply thermal paste. Now, you want to put uh, you know, a small pea size amount uh, in the middle of your processor. There's no need to spread it, there's no need to do weird you know, X patterns or line patterns. However, some people do say the LAN patterns better for the larger CPUs, such as the 2011 chips. But for most of you guys on LG 1150 or 1155, this is the way to do it. A small P in the middle, and that is the way to go. It's that simple. You don't need to put a lot on, and as you apply your th your actual heatsink onto the CPU, it'll spread it out evenly, you'll have no bubbles, and that will be the way to go. As you guys know, thermal paste is there to help the dissipation of heat, and you don't want a lot, because then, you know, the heat will kind of get trapped, and uh, what's the point in the heatsink then? And then, you know, you don't want a, a thin layer, because then the heat can't transfer to the copper of your heatsink, you know, that well, shall I say. So that, guys, has been a quick video on how to install kind of thermal paste. And, uh, yeah, it's really simple. And I hope you guys have kind of, uh, you know, you guys now know the knowledge, actually, to do this correctly. So don't disappoint me and, uh, yeah, get applying that thermal paste correctly. In terms of thermal paste to use, go with whatever you want to. From from my kind of knowledge, personally, and my kind of experience, any any thermal paste does really, buying, like, you know, a, a, a £3 or, or a £10 lot of thermal paste is all the same. But yeah, you just need some, some nice thermal paste and applying the correct amount is all that really matters really. And as soon as you get that right, you're all good to go. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment on all sorts, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.